Good evening YouTube, well tonight we're back down at the graveyard and I'm being fucking followed. Hello. Good evening YouTube and tonight we're back down at the graveyard I'm um, just walking through the entrance to it, the, the new part and uh, do you ever get the feeling that you're being followed? Yep, me too. We always do in this place, that's why it's such a, an interesting place to visit. So we're going to go down into the old, more active part of the graveyard and we're going to have a look around as we always do. We're going to do some silent vigils and um, we're going to get the K2 meter out, see what energy we've got with us tonight, if anything. Um, we're going to do a few experiments here and there. And what I'm also going to do, folks, is I'm going to go right in the middle of the graveyard. I'm going to do a ritual. Just to see if we can draw the spirits into us. Now this ritual is going to be nothing but a gratitude ritual. We're going to be just showing gratitude for the, for the spirits that are around us all the time. But we're going to be using a great deal of energy to do it, and we're going to draw them to us. And then we're going to try and see, oh, treat, see if we can get them to answer some questions for us. <clears throat> all right, and we'll see if we can get them on camera. Now, what I need you to do, guys, for me, if you can just, as always, keep a look in the background for me because sometimes when I edit these videos I might be doing them quite quickly or on the fly so if you could just keep an eye in the background tell me if you see anything out of the ordinary if you hear anything out of the ordinary we're going to be doing, going to be doing some EVPs um, as well we're going to do, be doing a quick call out session and let's just see what we can get there's been a lot of activity down here now I've been spending the last couple of weeks down here as you know weather's kind of stopped me doing any kind of real filming. Now tonight is a beautiful perfect night for this and we've got no wind whatsoever. We've got a beautiful full moon. <sighs> Look at that beauty, that's amazing isn't it? And so what we're going to be able to do is just hear everything that's going on around here. Every little footstep, every little voice hopefully we might get the most we can that we always get around here. And we'll walk right down the middle of the grave footsteps that follow you down here. If I can catch that on the audio, that would be absolutely awesome. Okay, so I'm going to make my way down to the... Oh, yeah, fucker. And it's already started. I love this place, man. Lovely. You're going to get goosebumps when you come down here because shit runs around. <laughs> I don't know if it's a fox or what, but it's fucking scary. And I love it. Right then. So I'm going to make my way down into the really really old part, the active part and we're going to sit down and we're going to do some get the K2 out, see what we can draw towards us and uh, let's get this ritual on the go folks, I'm excited already, let's go alright guys here we are then, so we're uh, we're perched on the war memorial just because it's just because it's a good place to perch it's nice and comfy now we're kind of halfway down in the old part now and uh, I'm just keeping my voice down so that I can actually hear what's going on around me because there's quite a bit of movement and I'm just trying to differentiate between drunken idiots if there is any around here it's a Wednesday night so there probably won't be very many of them kicking about foxes, rats, things settling, trees moving and of course the lovely whispering that we'll get down here alright then, so um, trying to set up this nice ritual in the middle here um, there's a, there is a bit more breeze than I thought I mean I can't feel any wind but uh, for some reason I can't get these candles lit they keep getting blown out whether or not something just doesn't want me to do a ritual right here uh, I don't know I mean there really is no wind guys I can't feel a thing like, but this is why I'm here because there's no <laughs> there's absolutely no wind at all it's a beautiful calm night and I can't get these candles lit for anything so anyway got the K2 down here, let me just flip this round, 
So we've got the K2 there. Now we've got the singing bowl tonight. And of course we've got some sigils set up for the ritual. Lovely. Um, I wrote these out earlier on today. Oh, let's have a look. So these are just some very quick sigils that I've drawn up. Gratitude. Love and respect for the spirits of the dead that we've got around us. This is basically what we've got here. And this is what we're here to kind of show these guys that we come that we're coming here with the greatest respect. Just to have to give you a quick look of what we've got here. So we, we want the spirits around here to know that we've come here with the greatest respect and that we only want to show them some appreciation for who they are and, and kind of just, just learn a bit about them. But I know this already because, they've heard, because I've been down here loads and they've heard me prattle on for ages about it. Here we are, let's see if we've got... Now this path, guys, this path here, the reason I sit here it's because this path where I'm shining my light down. Fuck me. This is the scary house part. This is this is where you walk down and everybody says when they walk down here that shit follows them. Now it could just be your mind playing tricks on you as it's easy to do around here when you're on your own. But this is the path where we get the whispering. And whenever you walk up here, you just you know something's following you. You'll hear the footprints behind you as well, the footsteps. It's great man. It's, honestly this place is fantastic. Doesn't look like there's much going on right now as there wouldn't be because we haven't attracted anything yet. We've got the singing bowl here. Um, we're gonna get the we're gonna get the vibes going. These I mean who's not in, who's not attracted to a singing bowl, right? Let's get the energy going. So I'm gonna start this off now. Minus the candles. Let's get these vibes going. Is anybody in this graveyard tonight with me? If you'd like to make your way towards the noise, make your way towards the energy. This is the bell to start the ritual. This is the ritual of gratitude. This is for you. Come forward, join the party. Let's celebrate your life, your death. Let's just celebrate something. If you come forward towards the noise, this is the ritual that's for you. You knew I was coming tonight. And I've done this especially for you, so... Show me the courtesy. You've been watching me for the last few weeks, I know you have. Because I've seen you following me about. So do me the courtesy and come forward, take a seat next to me on this monument. Gratitude, love and respect for the spirits who reside in this grave. Come forward. Let's just celebrate your life and your death. Ah, see who you are. That's if I don't burn my fingers first. So we've done the nice little ritual in the middle. We've got some energy going. Um, 
there wasn't a great deal happening, but we've definitely got the message across as to why we're here. We've got the we've got the energy flowing. It feels actually quite nice and calm up here. But calm's not what we came for, right? <laughs> Perfectly timed is the church bell. But calm's not what we came for, right? So we've come for some activity because you don't want to see me just sitting chilling out, dinging, singing balls in the middle of a graveyard. What I find funny though, I don't know why more YouTubers don't do this. Like, you get a lot of people doing ghost vigils in graveyards, but they always have like a cast and crew of extras with them. Now, how are you supposed to get the full vibe of a graveyard? How are you supposed to be absolutely freaked out by a, the ambience of a graveyard, probably, if you're not walking through it on your own? You know, I mean, I, you're gonna miss so much when you've got loads of people with you talking, them talking over you, not listening. This is the only real way to do this, guys. Go on your own. Shit yourself on your own. It's the best way. Okay, so speaking of shitting myself on my own, we're gonna walk down the, uh, down this path here. This path is where we're going now. So I'm going to take you down through the graveyard that I know you've seen before but this time we've got the energy going they're well aware that we're here now we're not hiding it this time, we're not sneaking through like ninjas they're well aware we've done our ritual at the top there we've definitely put a big flag on our head <laughs> well on my head and we're walking down this path. Now we're walking down this path, guys. This is the place. This is the place. This is where we get the whispering. This is where we get the footsteps, guys. Now I'm so, so happy that there's a full moon tonight. Or, well, I say a full moon. We're not far off. We're not far off a full moon. But it just lights this place up. I mean, I know you probably can't see that on the camera. But when the moon's not out, you can't see your hand in front of your face down here. But we're good. We're good to go. We're good. Check out these old graves, man. They're amazing. Look at them, man. Ancient. Proper ancient shit. Keep your ears out, guys, because there's a there's a nice owl that likes to sing. Usually sits in this tree. Whoop. Sits in this tree, but I've heard him out tonight. Sounds great. Scared the crap out of us earlier on. <laughs> Just added to the ambience of this uh, Right, to keep you guys out, keep you guys out. Wow. Yep. Absolutely not scared at all. So keep your eyes out, folks, for anything, any shadows, anything jumping across the path. Because this is where the, this is where it goes on. Whoop. You see, you can never tell if it's footsteps behind you or if it's just grass settling. Like, there's a lot of grass around here, and it's frosty and damp. So some of it, some of the noises are just going to be leaves and things. That's why I'm walking on the path so you don't hear my footsteps. Oh, look at this. Check this out, this is the Weeping Willow. Unreal. Right. Alright folks, so we're right in the old bit now, we've uh, successfully navigated the path 
and without anything following us tonight. Following me tonight. Why do I keep seeing us? Well, I suppose you guys are here with me too as well, so. Without anything following me tonight. It's strangely quiet tonight. Like, eerily quiet, even for this place. Like, there's not a lot going on, which kind of builds the ominous feeling. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I'm on my own. Kind of creeps you out a bit. So we're walking round side of the church now. This is where I got grabbed on the arm when I was doing the live stream. Exactly here. And if you remember, this is where I said that I was done for the night and I was leaving, I was going. And then I got grabbed. And we're going to walk around. This place is unreal, man. There's just so many noises, it's just hard to differentiate what's what. Who's dead and who's alive. It's great, I love it. Right, let's walk round to the four poster bed monument children's grave thing. Now I've left it this late to come here because you've got to walk around this grave at midnight. And if you walk around the grave at midnight, the kids come out to play. So let's see if they want to play any games tonight, shall we? Let's go. So we're just here. Look at this place, man. Check this place out. It's unreal. I'll just flip this around. Have a look at this church. If you like churches, I mean, you know. They don't like us, do they? <laughs> So here we are, back at this familiar site. Whee. So there's the three, three little kiddies. There they are. Well, for some reason, the, uh, the the camera's having a bit of trouble focusing on me. Uh, it's real a little bit so. I'll out. There we are. Just as I was doing a couple of laps of the church, there, the camera really was having a hard time focusing. Don't know what that was all about. Spooky? Yeah, maybe, maybe not. Alright then, so we're back here. Now, what I'm actually gonna do now is I'm gonna I'm gonna run around this this grave um twelve times. I think that's what we're supposed to do. And then we're gonna sit and we're gonna do a quick EVP session and we're gonna get the EMF meter out, get the K2 out and see if they wanna come play a game. So let's do some laps of this thing. Come on, let's go! Round and round and round I go. Try not to fall over and break my toe. Where I stop, nobody knows. So I'm walking <laughs> This grave's far too close to the road for my liking. People's gonna be looking at me going, what is he doing? What's that not a doing? Going around the grave. Right. So I've done my laps around this grave. Then he fell over and broke my neck about 20 times. I'm just going to sit and see if we can get some activity from the uh, from the three little kids that are buried here. Bless them. And maybe the father or the mother who's also buried with them. Supposedly. According to the gravestone anyway. Got the trusty K2 here just to see if we can pick up anything. Um, usually if things come forward, uh, especially if... if the spirits like to play with things, they're normally quite good with actually, I mean I've... Shit, there's fucking... There's noises all over, it's great. Anyway, they're normally quite good at manipulating little, thing, manipulating little things like this. Because they're, they're almost like toys and things, you know? So, hey, we'll give it a go. So if any of the three kids that are buried here tonight. So if any of the three kids that are buried here on this that we're actually sat on now with here if you want to come forward and let me know that you're here if you want to communicate tap me on the shoulder
whisper in my ear. I don't mind, I won't get scared, I promise. Play with this meter that we've got. Blow that truck up that's just parked over there. Shop's getting deliveries, guys. This side of the graveyard is just far too close to the road for my liking. It's it's not the best. The other side's better for uh, for quiet, but uh, this is where this grave is, and this is where we've got to do the work. So this is where we are. So if you want to come forward, there's anyone here, if you want to come forward, whisper in my ear, tell me your name, my name's Alex, if you want to tell me my name, if you want to whisper in my name, if you want to whisper in my name, if I can maybe speak English to you that might help you understand what I'm saying, <laughs> if you want to whisper my name to me, my name's Alex. You know, they'll be floating around as these things. Thinking, who is this absolute Burke? <laughs> come forward and play with this meter that we've got here. If you come close to this meter, this will tell me that you are here, supposedly. So they say. This will pick up your energy. Oh, there's some pretty birds out. Some nice birds out. I think the birds are confused. I think it's because the moon's out, they think that the sun's coming up. It's really bright as fuck here. Anyway, come forward guys. Three kids that are buried here, if you want to play with this meter, come forward. Come close to me. Touch my head. Try and scare me if you, if you think that's funny. You know, if you want to play a game like that, I don't mind, I really don't mind. I've been scared many a time. You can laugh at me, jump on a mile. <laughs> Come forward and use my energy. As you've done before, manipulate this device that I've got in my hand. Okay, so we're back at the ritual site now uh, where we did the gratitude ritual we've walked all the way through I've walked all the way through I've done a couple of laps of this place and it's and it's just eerily bizarrely strangely quiet tonight I just don't get it like this place is like I know it's quiet I get it it's a graveyard but it's never this quiet like we always have We always have loads of creepy shit happening. There's just not, there's no activity, we're getting no energy, we're getting no readings anywhere. Um, no, that quite often in places that I've been to means there's a, there's a build up to something because it's never really quiet, it's only ever quiet and then it gets you. But it doesn't get you, Nothing, nothing's going to get you. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I'm saying? In any case, we're going to do some quick EVPs and see if, the, if we can get any disembodied voices to listen to in my earphones and be terrified. Then edit them back into the video later and try and terrify you with them. Let's see what we're going to find. So if there's anyone here who appreciated the gratitude ritual that I did earlier on for you, Speaking to this listen device that I've got here, this can pick up your voice. If you can't speak loud enough for me to hear you, this will pick you up. I'm getting a strange ringing in my ears. I only ever normally get that if there's any kind of like an energy buildup, which is strange because nothing else is indicating an energy buildup. Now, does this mean that these devices, that a lot of the, a lot of ghosty huntry type people take out on vigils with them, don't work? I don't know because I've had a little bit of success with the EMP, with the K2 meter picking up energy when we're doing Ouija and stuff like that. So we don't know, do we? If 
if there's anyone with us tonight that wants to come forward, please speak into this little grey box that I've got in my hand here. Sp oh, better yet, speak in my ear. I much prefer if you can just talk in my ear. It saves on a lot of editing time. <laughs> Gives us more time to do other stuff. Nice place around here, isn't it? It's nice and relaxing. Come and enjoy the... The... F Come and enjoy the moonlight with us. Come sit next to me. Just chill, man. I've created a lot of energy for you lot tonight. I've done a nice ritual here. Uh, the ritual guys took about... 10, 15 minutes. It was just a gratitude ritual. It was just some burning of sigils, a little bit of chaos magic in there. Um, I was dinging the singing bowl for a while. <laughs> If anyone was walking through walking with a dog, they'd have just fucking turned around and ran the other way as quick as they could. I thought it was very nice anyway, I thought it was very lovely. It sounded great. That was been a lovely tune, right? Come on, the one that likes to follow people down this path. Tell me who you are. Have a word in this thing. Tell me what your name is, because clearly you don't like to talk out loud. You just like to walk behind people and piss them off. Are you pissing them off? Are you trying to get their attention? Well, if you're trying to get me attention, you've got it now. I mean, it's safe to say that I want to communicate with you. I've come here. Oh, we've got some movement down there, guys. Come on. Let me just flip you. Shit. What? Funnily enough, from the very same place, this torch is pretty shite. Next time I promise I'll bring a better torch for you. But from the very same place that we're talking about, this guy or girl, whoever it is, walking from. This is exactly where I'm sitting here. Because if anything comes walking up this path, I want to be able to catch it. I want you guys to be able to catch it. This is what we're doing this for. We're not messing about. You know, like if somebody walks up this path, I mean, yes, I'm going to crap myself, but I'll let, I'll let them sit down here and we'll have a chat. <laughs> At least that's what I want to do. Let's see how that works out then. Come on, come and walk up this path, sit on this monument with me, tell me your name, speak into this device that I've got in my hand, speak in my ear, sit down next to me, let's just chill out, shoot the breeze, tell me what kind of a day you've had. <laughs> What do you think about people like me coming round to your graveyard? Does it annoy you? Do you like it? Do you like it when people come round and give you attention? Do you like the company? Because I tell you what, if you don't tell me that you don't like the company, I'll be coming through a lot more often. Because I've heard you here before. You made yourself, you made your presence known before. So I'm gonna keep coming. No, I don't really care if it annoys you. Because I don't know if it annoys you if you don't tell us. If you tell us that it annoys you, then I'll leave you alone. But I don't think it would. Personally, if it was me, I wouldn't mind people like me. Coming to visit. <clears throat> Now you all know I've come here with nothing but peace 
and gratitude. Now if you could come forward and tell me your name at least or say something into this device here that would be your way of reciprocating that gratitude or maybe you're not great <laughs> maybe you're not grateful for us <laughs> I mean that's how you like me as well come on man be grateful for me <laughs> why are you not grateful for me before because you keep waking us up at one o'clock in the morning Alex all right uh, fair enough I get your point Do you mind that this absolute lunatic comes and talks absolute prattle to you? Are you laughing at us? In fact, I bet you they're all sitting there now. I bet they're all sitting around us. In fact, they're probably sat on this monument. They're probably sat around us, laughing the tits off at us. I mean, the K2's not doing anything. I'm not picking up anything tonight. The K2's not doing anything. I'm not picking up anything. Little bits of movement here and there, guys, but that could just be, it could just be, be just nature. Um, I've been here long enough and you know enough times to not have my imagination play tricks with me now that's why I've been here so many times just so I know exactly what's what what's where so I get comfortable with the place and this is what most people should do this is what a lot of paranormal investigators don't do is you should go to a venue so many times that you're almost bored of it like you, you know you, you know the place like the back of your hand you're comfortable with it because if you become comfortable with a venue you're not going to let your imagination run right and start imagining things you know because you've got to be able to debunk everything that's just a natural phenomenon you know as soon as you start running out of ways to debunk something then they are there's something that you should look at there's a thing of interest and then you should follow into that direction and see what you find not a lot going on tonight guys you know and since since I'm for real since this is for real I'm not full of BS like so many so called YouTube paranormal investigators are I'm not going to run around the grave panicking screaming that somebody's chasing us I'm not going to leg it out of the graveyard just for sensationalism this is not what I'm all about you know what I'm all about what I'm all about if something happens I'll document it if it doesn't happen I'll document it I'm here just like you're here to search for the truth and we'll find it whatever it is one way or another where we'll find it I've got a few good ideas where we're going to find it but more on that later um, but I think for this place tonight guys um, I'm going to cut this short because I really don't I'm not feeling the activity tonight and uh, my hands frozen to this camera my lips are falling off um, and I'm going to have a, a slow stroll back home now um, watch you watch as soon as this camera gets turned off it's going to kick off <laughs> anyway guys absolutely thrilled if you're watching this Thanks for watching, uh, we'll keep you up to date with more of these either in this area or up and coming vigils in places that we know are absolutely riddled because people have been there and they've run out of the building scared, <laughs> terrified I can't wait to go to these places man, it's going to be so exciting Okay guys, so for now, quiet night tonight Yeah, we'll see what happens next time Alright, till next time, love you all, bye bye now <laughs>